fixing to have a little snack. Any time of good stuff. Mango, <clears throat> cantaloupe, carrots with our black bean hummus homemade. And then romaine lettuce leaf with our hummus. And then the, uh, those are broccoli sprouts. And then some milk kefir with uh, blueberries. And just a little bit of that. And then over there, I'm on the charger right now. Over there on the counter is a new batch of water kefir, two new batches of milk kefir, and one, two, three, four, five, and about a third bottle of second ferment water kefir going, and two bottles of kombucha. I'll show those to you in a little bit. All right, well, the battery's not doing any better. I think I got something wrong with my phone. Anyway, that is some kefir water. That's also kefir water, but that's got uh, molasses in it. And by the way, that's what makes it so brown. By the way, the kefir greens will turn brown looking, but they'll clean back up whenever you run just regular uh, white sugar and some minerals through it. Now that's strawberry. That's blueberry. That is mango. Those are two that just kefir water, no flavoring. That's what I had left over. That is... Uh, Vanilla, honey, and cinnamon. Figured I'd try that. There's some kombucha. Kombucha. And that is uh, blueberry and ginger. And that is some mango kombucha. You just put the tops on them. And we're going to let them ferment and build up some carbonation. So we got some sparkling water. And this is some of the tea that I've got left over. That's a new two, two plus gallon jar I'm going to work on. But... Take you in the other room. This is the 80 gallon, 80 gallon, 80 ounce jar that um, I just took off. <laughs> that little sock up there. That works pretty good, by the way. <coughs> and it had a beautiful scoby on it. This is fresh now. There's the new scoby down there. That's the new one that just got created. You can see how wide it is. Beautiful little scoby. Perfect. I mean, it was perfect. In fact, <clears throat> I need to drop this level a little bit because it was getting in here and it sealed it so well it lifted it out of the water twice and I just pushed it down in there and got it wet again. This was put on three days later, 311, but anyway, I put these on too. Now this one um, has no scoby in it at all. And so it's an experiment. Well, they're all kind of experiments, but anyway. No scoby in that one at all, but it's got some really good starter fluid in liquid in it. I started the starter uh, liquid about here and added the sweet tea to it. And there's <coughs> and I <coughs> excuse me, I stirred the <coughs> yeast up before I put it in there, so it's good and dark. These were some scobies that I got that I actually had in this jar, and a friend of my mom's sent it to me from Baton Rouge. Those uh, scobies were raised in pint jars. And so after I pulled that batch off, I went ahead and split them. So I put one there, and I'm doing it with a lid that's just lightly on. In other words, as soon as I feel the tension, stop. And so it doesn't have to work too hard to get the air out. That's another one with a scoby. You can see how thick that scoby is. And then there's another one back in the back here. It's got a nice little scoby in it. So I'm kind of making these as gifters, I reckon. I'm gonna this gonna I'm gonna play with a scoby hotel. So that is new fresh tea in there, plus a good strong starter. The starter was about here, and this is sweet tea. So we'll see if it has enough there to build a scoby. I'm kind of thinking it'll get one started, but don't be able to finish it. This was three days later. Like, that's a beautiful little scoby there. I mean, that thing was pretty. This one's not so pretty. But it's a scoby nonetheless. Starting to build up a little bit on that side more than anywhere else. I don't know exactly why that would be. Although, when I had the towel wrapped around here, it stopped right here. So maybe that's where the sunlight's getting to it. Huh, maybe it needs more sunlight. i tell you what, let's do this. <laughs> and just try it. I don't believe 
that scoby is going to look like the other one in three more days. But I could be wrong. So, anyway, I wanted y'all to see that one. Now, that's pretty much the same batch. And, uh, well, that no, was made three days later. So, I'll put the rubber band on that in a second. And then this is our apple cider vinegar with the mother. You can see the mother in there. The part of it just hanging down. And that mess in there was the juice from the, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, the juiced, fresh juiced apples. You can see that it's pretty active in there. I guess I gotta put the light on it. Uh, you can see stuff moving up and down. I don't know why that um, huh. I don't know why those frames are moving. But anyway, how can I you can, see, so you can see stuff going up and down in there. I mean, it's really active. Yeah, it don't look worth a flip. But like I said, I know what that is. And that is all of the uh, pulp. Not pulp, actually. It's just a foamy juice from the uh, when I juiced the apples. So it's okay. It smells good. And I think it's going to be just fine. I'm going to wait a couple more days. Wait till Mom gets home. I'll let her taste it. Uh, taste test it with me. But anyway, that's what we're up to. So, uh, oh. All right. That is the way that I had it. And you can see that light would have hit back here and come in. It probably was more like this. That could have been from the light. Anyway, we'll experiment with that. I'm going to leave that one open like that. I think I'm going to leave a little bit more area for the light back there in the back to see what happens. And one other thing I forgot to show you. Now that's some garlic and honey. We're fermenting. That's some watermelon rinds. Broccoli doesn't work very well, by the way. And a wonderful lady named Carol is who got us started on her milk kefir there. Put that on this morning. And then I bought some from the Etsy store. And uh, it's on there. And man, those grains grow slow. My water kefir grains have gone from a half a cup to a full cup. And uh, milk kefir grains are just really slow about growing. That is one batch <clears throat> from the Etsy store I was trying. This is a really unusual batch. But I didn't clean the jar out between. And that really turned out... In fact, that's what I'm fixing to drink on the table there. This is one from uh, Carol. And also, this one back here is from her also. Her batch, I should say. And this is one from the Etsy store. And that's one from the Etsy store. So anyway, lots of goodness. But that right there, I'm going to sit down and enjoy. And that's that milk kefir. Looks really good. So it's a not like it's not a stick. It's thicker than milk. Not as thick as yogurt. Somewhere in the buttermilk class. I'd say a little bit thicker than buttermilk. Alright, cheers guys. I'm fixing it busy on this. Doesn't it look good? I'm gonna tell you it tastes good. That hummus is made from potatoes and squash and that one's black beans. And some spices and stuff like that. And some tahini oil. and Boy, that stuff's good. Better than any hummus I've had anywhere else. Cheers, guys.